When I traveled to Ireland on a one-way ticket, I had no idea what kind of adventures were in store. I discovered a group of ancient heroes, amazing saints and scholars whose radical faith transformed Ireland, Scotland, and England with the gospel of Christ during the Dark Ages. So let's step back in time to discover the thin places and the amazing men and women of Celtic history. I decided to interview Keith Gainham, who does a reenactment of the Celtic Shepherd. Through his perspective, we not only understand more about Patrick's ministry, but we also tap into the shepherd heart of our good shepherd, Christ. They were loners. A lot of the time, you know, for weeks and end, they'd be out in the highlands or, or lowlands, they'd be out in all sorts of weather, and it was just them by themselves. And I don't know if you've ever been around fields and nature just by yourself for a long period of time but all the noise of the world goes away and it's just you and if you tune in it's just you and it's daddy as well there's nothing I, I, I like more than being out in the fields and especially hearing daddy's voice right out in the middle of it and there's times when you can shout and scream and swear at him and everyday frustrations you can take it but being out and about and out in nature, and especially in a setting like this where it's so peaceful, there's no noise from the outside world. Well, the ancient Scottish shepherds, gosh, they were herding sheep for many, many years. I mean, since biblical times, always been Scottish shepherds. In fact, what I'm wearing here is called a shepherd's mod. Uh, mod is Gaelic for blanket. The Shepherd's Mod was being used publicly up until around the 1950s, 1960s, as recent as that. They would fashion a pocket out of the material, literally just like that. And if a lamb was injured, they would place the lamb in the pocket, and take it back to the Shepherd's Hut and make it much better. This is called a cromach, just a Scottish term for shepherd's crook. This shape here is for fitting around a sheep's neck and it's soft so it won't hurt the sheep. It's also a third leg. If you put it in front of you you can see where there's boggy land. You can feel your way. If one of your lambs is down a hill and you can't reach it, it's a long long arm. You can just pull that lamb right up and because of its strength you can use it as a weapon. The shepherds were tough men. They were out there in all weathers, protecting those that couldn't defend themselves. They were there looking after them. This hat here is called a Benej Birach. Most people would call these a pom-pom, but they're called turis. It would soak up water from the rain, so you could angle the hat on one side of your face, and it would keep the rain off your face. The kilt that I'm wearing here, just untreated black wool. And shepherds would wear tartans, but they would be earthy colours. I don't know if you've ever tried wearing a pair of jeans when it's soaking. They stick to you. Whereas, you know, a kilt like this, um, the small kilt, which is what I'm wearing, if it's raining, two minutes later on I'm bone dry because it allows air to, to get into it, so it dries it off. Leather shoes, they're called brogans. And the fact that it has no tongue was ingenious because it would let the water out. So if you were walking around in boggy land, the water would literally just come straight back out your shoe. So you, there was no danger of you getting what's called trench foot, which is a horrible, horrible condition. So these were ingenious, ingenious clothes. For me, I think the attraction of the shepherd comes from the fact that we're all related to the most ancient of clans. The most ancient of clans is Jesus' clan. It's very much like Jesus. Here's a guy out in the wilderness and he would drop everything to come and rescue you. If you fell in the mire, if you were trapped, if you were injured, he'll do everything to come and help you and assist you and bring you back to safety and he'll cradle you in his arms. 
So for me, definitely the Scottish Shepherds hold such an intrigue because I see Jesus as one. <laughs>